always and really doing. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Beach Boys Pet Sounds and Smile by Brian Wilson and Smiley Smile by the Beach Boys. Okay, so this is a complex story and I'm going to be totally honest. I don't really know every single detail about it, but all I do know is that Pet Sounds is one of the best albums of the 60s. It's one of the best pop albums of the last 70 years or whatever. One of my favorite albums of all time, and it's voted as one of the best albums ever made. So, if you're a Beach Boys fan, you will definitely own Pet Sounds. Beach Boys, in the early 60s, their music was quite poppy and it was a lot of R&B and blues style songs about surfing and girls and all that kind of stuff. But Brian Wilson, the genius songwriter in the band, uh, and again, I'm not going to go into his life too much because... Um, Again, it's a complicated story. There's a lots of other brilliant videos on YouTube regarding Brian Wilson and his lifestyle. But if you like Pet Sounds, which I really, really do like, and it's one of my favorite albums of all time, he was inspired by the Beatles' Rubber Soul album. And then he decided that he was going to top that album. And <laughs> Uh, I like Robert Soul by the Beatles, I think it's a fantastic album with great songs in it. But the depth of the songs on Pet Sounds, I think, eclipses the Beatles. Um, then again, the Beatles heard this and said, whoa, let's make something better. And they came up with Revolver. Is Revolver better than Pet Sounds? They're both brilliant, you know. If a band came out today and made an album like Pet Sounds or Revolver, you'd be kind of going, you know, what the hell? It's the dinner bell is just after going there. So I'm, I'm hungry. Um, but anyway, getting back to Pet Sounds, it's a fantastic album. And you know, every song in it is good. This is a simply vinyl reissue from the, I don't know, whenever, 20 years ago or something. But I mean, there's millions of versions of Pet Sounds. But, I mean, it's got songs in it. Wouldn't it be nice? You still believe in me? That's not me. Don't talk. I'm waiting for the day. Let's go away for a while. That's an instrumental. Sloop John B is on it. That's an old folk song, I think. God Only Knows is on it. And that is probably one of the best songs ever written. I mean, it's just an absolute fantastic song. I know there's an answer here today. I just wasn't made for these times. Pet Sounds, Caroline No. Produced by Brian Wilson. Um, this is the Beach Boys album as well, where he was a session player, so, you know. But the thing is, uh, Wilson decided that he was going to top this, his own album. He said this album only recently, or in the last few years, he said that it was 4 out of 10. And everybody knows it's a 10 out of 10. Okay, so where does Smile commit to this? Right, after Pet Sounds, sessions commenced for an album, a project called Smile. There was lots and lots of tracks recorded. Um, what happened was, oh, after so many months, maybe eight or nine months or so, I'm not 100%, the sessions kind of came to a halt. The pressure, couldn't get it finished, couldn't do this, couldn't do that. It just became a nightmare. And, you know, he was suffering from mental illness as well, uh, Brian Wilson. And the project was shelved. And unfortunately, we never got to hear it back in the 60s. So. This album has mythical status. It was like, was it the best album ever, never released, all this kind of stuff. What did happen in 67 was we had Smiley Smile, which was kind of a minimalist uh, version of all of the, some of the tracks that came on this. It's not very satisfying. You know, Heroes and Villains is on it, Good Vibrations is on it. Uh, it leaves you wanting more it is a Beach Boys album, of course, they're all on it, but it's, it just leaves you wanting more. And unfortunately, it's a bit thin, I and mean, it's a bit minimalist. And to me, it's nowhere near, I mean, it's a big disappointment to Pet Sounds. But in 
early uh, mid 90s or whatever, Wilson was thinking again of revisiting Smile, the sessions, and taking um, some ideas and some songs from it and releasing it as, we'll say, an album properly. And that actually did happen, and it was released in September 2004, and here it is. And this is, in my mind, this is an absolutely fantastic album. I love it. It's a trip. It's like, like, I don't really know what the words mean, you know. I mean, obviously, look, it's about the foundation of the Americas, or America. Um, travelers, immigrants, uh, growing food and all this kind of stuff. But, you know, it's, it's a sprawling beast, but it came together pretty well. You know, it's like a big jigsaw. Like, every time I listen to it, I want to listen to it again, because there's all these little passages. Uh, the songs are complex. One song kind of seeks sequences into a different section of the song. It's not as straightforward as, we'd say, earlier Beach Boy material. And that's why the sessions floundered, because they, they, they had to be recorded in sections and put back together with the technology back then. That was quite tricky. But this one, I mean, it starts off with an a cappella. Beach Boys aren't even on this. It's just done by different vocalists, and it sounds fantastic. The production sounds almost, there's a tiny, I would say, a touch of Phil Spector there. It sounds like it was recorded in the 60s. So what they did was they pulled songs from the Smile Sessions, and they reworked them, and they actually re-recorded them. So this is all re-recording. Sounds fantastic. Here was the villains on a uh, roll. Plymouth Rock, love that one. Cabin Essence, great, wonderful. Song for Children. Child is Father to the Man. It's absolutely fantastic. I love it. Surf's Up. That's one of my favourites on it. I'm in great shape. I want to be around. Workshop. Vegetables. Wind chimes. In Blue Hawaii. And Good Vibrations. Excellent. Then you got some instrumentals on this. This album's worked quite a little bit now as well. Final pressing from back then. But I love it. And when I got this, I listened to it over and over and over. It's one of those very rare special albums that you just want to keep listening to. Um, I never got sick of it. I'm listening to it again a lot recently. Uh, it's something to get lost in. If you like complex music, you know, prog rock and psychedelic music, you'll like this, you know. And I mean, the lyrics, what do they mean? You know, I mean, some of the, I'm going to be around my vegetables. I'm going to chew, chow down my vegetables. I love you most of all, my favorite vegetable. Um, the lyrics are by, um, what was his name? Um, Van Dyke Parks. <laughs> uh, but this was being performed live even before the album came out, you know. And there's some great musicians on it as well, um, uh, especially Darian Sahananja. He helped mainly with the track listing and the production and stuff like that. So yeah, it's fantastic. I really like it. I, I absolutely love it. Um, it's amazing. It's the best solo art album that Brian Wilson did. Uh, let's be honest, you know. Um, is it better than Pet Sounds? It's hard to know. If it was released back then, uh, the lyrics probably would have caught people. You know, if the lyrics were a little bit more rounded out, maybe, or less, we'll say, specific to what they're on, subject about, they might be a bit different, you know. I mean, this seems to be about relationships. This seems to be about God knows what. <laughs> God only knows. <laughs> but, um... Musically, is it up there with Sgt. Pepper's? You know, that would have been its competition, by the way, you know, you know. Um, I don't know. It's certainly would have been fantastic if the Beach Boys were on this. Yes, it would have been. Um, maybe there's still time. They could do it, could they? Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, some are dead now. But no, I really, I really like it. I think it's fantastic and it's definitely worth investigating. Uh, there's a DVD and a, and a CD. I, I have the DVD somewhere as well. I must try and poke that out. I think it's, it's an in concert version. But it's a fantastic album. I really love it. And I think you'd like it too. So yeah, check it out. Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe and take care.